It's March already, and at the beginning of every month, I do a deals video. It used to be I would do a builds video. I'd say, here's a build, maybe a couple builds, and then I'd actually build one of those systems later in the month. I'm trying to get back to that this year. I did a budget build for last month, so check that out if you're interested in building a system that's in the $800 to $1,000 range. Today, I've got some deals, I've got some builds. Those are linked in the descriptions, or you can use the timestamps to jump ahead. But there was also a little thing that I did with my friend Kyle back at the end of December. So back at the end of December, my friend Kyle and I did a final charity live stream, our awesome hardware charity live stream, where we sang uh, The Scotsman among other things. And I'll post a link to this video in the description if you're interested. And we also, thanks to your generosity, broke $100,000 raised for the year for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals through Extra Life. So thanks to all of you for your generosity, but we also made a big promise with that last live stream, which is that we were doing a giveaway that people could enter and that we were going to build a PC to give away. We haven't built that system yet, so the goal today is to plan that out and to make things a little bit more interesting for those of you who weren't able to enter back in that live stream at the end of December. Why not put together a second PC as well to give away at the same time? Excellent. Today's video was brought to you by the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet, which combine legendary near silent operation with optimal performance and of course, RGB lighting. Control the look of your PC with up to 20 addressable LEDs per fan and choose from standard PWM for airflow or PWM high speed for use with radiators and heat sinks. They're available in 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter sizes and suitable for any build in need of a functional and tasteful RGB upgrade. So for more on the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet, click the sponsor link in the video description. See if Kyle will answer his phone. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Well, I guess step one for this video will be to have Kyle not ghost me. All right. <laughs> All right, so I've got Kyle on the phone. Hi, Kyle, how's it going? It's going good, Paul. How are you? I'm, I'm well. So we need to build two systems, and my idea was to uh, use the big names to sort of separate the system. So what if we did one system that is an Intel CPU and an NVIDIA graphics card, and then a second system that is an AMD CPU and an AMD Radeon graphics card? That sound good? I like that. Okay. That's sorted. I made a little spreadsheet over here so we can start to sort things out. Now I have a big a big question for you that, that you're not aware of yet that uh, oh. I'm showing people right now. So I did a build, I don't know, a month or two ago and Asus sent me a graphics card to use in that build, which is a 3080 Ti liquid cooled edition. And I still have not used it for anything. Very good graphics card. The only thing is this card was supposed to go in my wife's computer, which currently has the RTX 3090 white edition that you let me borrow in it. Mm. Do you, do you, do you need that card back? Uh, I would like it back. Okay. <laughs> What I was gonna suggest is that you could donate the white 3090 and then I would replace it with this liquid cooled 3080 Ti and we could move on from there. But it's fine and I understand you want that card back because it's a really nice one. No problem there. In that case, I will be donating the 3080 Ti liquid cooled for this build. I'll give Kyle back his 3090 white edition and we'll sort that out otherwise and I'll figure out a different card for that system. But what we need to figure out beyond that then is uh, the Intel CPU that will go with this card. And then for the AMD build, I'm thinking we'd need like a 5900X or 5950X and then probably either a 6800 XT or a 6900 XT. Do you have any of those things? Um, I, I'd have to do some digging. I feel like I, I probably have at least one of those things I can contribute. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start hashing out a few more, just like general, like not specific products, but just the type of product that I think would fit yeah. in. Uh, so I can sort of hash out these builds for the purposes of this video. And then if you, can drop me a text or whatever uh, when you when you if you're able to figure that out. Let me know on the CPU side or on the GPU side what you might have to drop in. Because basically we, we each need to contribute one graphics card and one CPU. We just got to figure out which is which. Sounds good. Cool. All right, and then guys, since we're doing two builds, I'll build one system here on my channel. Kyle will build one system on his channel. You guys get two separate build videos, and then like I said. One of them is going to be given away now, and one of them will be given away to people who entered the giveaway back in December. One last question, Kyle. Do you have a preference for which of these two systems you want to put together? No, I'm, I'm down to, to build either one, honestly. Okay, for now, 
I'm gonna take charge of the NVIDIA Intel one then, since I've got the 3080 Ti liquid cooled right here to start that build off with. Sure. And, uh, but I might have a 5950X to add to the second system. But like I said, send me a text and we'll get this sorted. Okay, sounds good. Paul. All right, thanks Kyle. Yep, Bye-bye. It's always good to talk to Kyle and we now have sort of a starting off point for our two builds. Of course, the graphics card is uh, what we're focusing on because those are the most difficult to get right now. And also the highest cost item in terms of the overall overall price of the builds we might put together. This is an epically awesome graphics card, the 3080 Ti 12 gig with all-in-one liquid cooling integrated as well as a bunch of RGB. So that is an excellent starting off point for build number one over here, which is gonna be Nvidia graphics card and Intel CPU, the Asus ROG Strix 3080 Ti. And in case you're wondering, you can buy these right now for almost $3,000 over on Newegg, but that's from a third-party marketplace seller. Newegg sells these for just shy of $2,200 a piece. So hopefully that makes it evident that we're uh, aiming pretty high with these builds. And then for a CPU pairing with that, a 12900K or 12700K, the 12900K ideally. Over on the AMD side, our comparable Radeon cards are the 6800 XT or 6900 XT right now. And then our CPU, the 5900X or 5950X. So let's go down the rest of the list and figure out what other parts we can populate. And part of the reason I'm doing this is because I can be like, oh, I need a motherboard, like a Z690 board. What if, if I reach to my right? Hey, look at that, it's an ROG Strix Z690-E gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Perfect, let's go with this. And there's a quick look at the product page. This motherboard's currently selling for 430 US dollars, uh, both on Amazon and on Newegg. Some inquiries have been sent out and we're waiting to hear back on a 6900 XT, which would be absolutely wonderful. But uh, part of the reason I wanted to do this in this way is because if I'm trying to assemble a PC for like you guys to build at home, I go about it in a certain way. I see what's available at sites like Amazon, Newegg and other online retailers so that you can buy something in that way. When I'm trying to build a system that's gonna be for giveaway, it's sort of a different mentality and a different way of going about it. And that's why I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride on this one. Now, other than those three core components, the CPU, uh, GPU, and motherboard, we have the remaining parts, which is gonna be a 32 gig kit of memory, DDR5 for our Intel build. Uh, an SSD configuration, I feel like a one terabyte NVMe plus two terabyte SATA is a good setup for right now. Of course, if we can find more than that, we can totally go for that. Uh, a power supply, at least 850 watts for the caliber of system we're putting together and 80 plus gold or better would also be good for efficiency. And then we want a good ATX case. And the case, I'd say, the power supply, the storage configuration are where there's still a fair amount of flexibility. And you know what? This goes for our AMD build as well. So I'll just copy and paste that. Of course, we're gonna be using DDR4 on that setup, although performance-wise, they're pretty much the same right now. And as we get more of these parts locked down, we can fill this chart out. But this is pretty much a overall look at the types of systems that we're gonna be building for you guys. Of course, I got some deals to share with you too. But before that, let's see if I can get the ball rolling on some of these other other components. Jerry, baby, it's been too long. <laughs> Jerry, baby, it's been too long. <laughs> because the actor would only work at night, that's why. Why are you yelling at me? Stop yelling at me. One hand washes the other, after all. Can we make a deal? Can we do a deal? We got a deal? Can we do a deal? Can we make a deal? I got a deal. Let's make a deal. I know, Joe. It doesn't matter if you think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the merchandise is hot? Like it's like, like, like talking temperature wise? Like it's overheating? Overclock, are, are, you, are you overclocking here? Like hot? Oh, 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 hot. Oh. I thought we might be able to trade for something. I got a few things down here, but it's just, I don't know. It's uh, my inventory situation is a, what do you mean the card was declined? I thought Visa was supposed to be everywhere you want to be. So we're talking a cash deal now, cash. I have, uh, I have $15. Well, all you have to do is comply and then the hostages will be released. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, no deal. Some things are just too precious to trade away. So now I'm gonna get back to some deals and talk on the component level about products that I would recommend right now for anyone who's either building a new PC or upgrading a PC that they already have. Now, first off, my core system that I'd recommend for people right now, minus a graphics card, will cost you around $550 to $600, and that's what I recommended last month. So you can check out that video or just look in the description because I still have links to all the parts, such as the Core i5-12400 CPU, which is about $209. That's available for that price on Amazon or Newegg. 
Pair that up with a B660 chipset motherboard. The one I recommended was the Asus Prime B660 Plus D4. Bear in mind that some LGA 1700 motherboards for Intel's newest 12th gen processors have DDR4 support, some have DDR5 support. If you're trying to stick to a budget, definitely go with a DDR4 motherboard because the uh, performance is comparable and DDR4 memory is way less expensive than DDR5 right now. This was $140 on Amazon. It's not available there right now, but there are B660 motherboards that have been coming down in price like this Gigabyte model for about $120. There are now several from Gigabyte, MSI, and ASRock, as well as Asus in the $140-ish dollar range, and even some really inexpensive ASRock models for 95 to 110. I haven't tried these out yet though, so I can't quite vouch for those. From there though, you wanna add on a 16 gig kit of memory. This is a $60 DDR4 3600 kit from Team. You'll want some storage to get started it off and for around $45 to $50 you can get a 500 gig class NVMe SSD. This is the Team Group MP33. Keep an eye on the read and write speeds for NVMe SSDs. They usually start off in around the 1500 megabytes per second range and then they ramp up from there. For a PCI Express Gen 3 drive, they can get up to 3,000 to 3,500 megabytes per second, but those drives tend to cost quite a bit more. You'll want to round things out with a case and a power supply. Uh, the Fractal Design Focus G is $55. The build I just posted last week is in this case. It's got some shortcomings, but it is a $55 case, and it does ship with two fans. And then for a power supply, you can usually find a 750 watt power supply, which would support higher end graphics cards like an RTX 3070 or 3080 for around six to $75. This one was $60, but it's back up to $75. Keep your graphics card in mind when you're choosing your power supply and make sure you get a power supply with enough wattage to support the graphics card that you eventually intend to get. The cheapest graphics card that you can just buy right now is the Radeon 6500 XT, and you can actually find those for as little as $230 to $260-ish. These cards can be pretty performance limited though, so even though $230 to $260 is a more compelling price than some of the cards that cost $500 or upgrade, Right now. It's still, in my opinion, worth your while to save up a little bit more to get something like an RX 6600, and this one you can buy directly from Newegg, shipped from and sold by Newegg for $440 right now. And it's even a power color model with a dual fan cooling solution on it. Ooh, look, it has a backplate too. GPU prices are coming down, but they are still fluctuating a lot. For instance, this ROG Strix RTX 3050 was $490. But that was when Newegg was selling it directly. Those sold out and now you only can buy it from third-party sellers that are marking it up quite a bit. Also adding $50 in shipping, which is really stupid. Vuyet, you suck. Nobody buy from you. Also, they're shipping from Hong Kong. So pay attention where the cards are shipping from as well if you're dabbling in third-party sellers, whether you're talking about Newegg or Amazon. Just to run down a few other viable options for people who are assembling a budget rig though, the i3-12100 or 12100F are really good quad-core options if you're really on a budget available for $110, but only currently being sold by Best Buy, and they've been sold out for quite a while. So keep an eye on that if you're really on a budget. There's also the 12100 non-F for about $140. This one has integrated graphics, which can be quite useful, especially if you don't have a GPU to get yourself started out with. But they're both sold out, so who cares? The 5900X has been significantly discounted down to $450, and 440 on Newegg if you uh, count this $60 off instant promo code, and all you have to do is enter the promo code when you're checking out, and you get that money discounted instantly. This makes the 5900X, which is a 12 core 24 thread processor, a much more compelling option if you're comparing it to something like the 12700K, which has eight P cores and four E cores for 20 threads total. This was down to 375, it's back up to 400, so kind of a tough choice between the 5900X and the 12700K. If you absolutely don't wanna buy a graphics card right now, but you do want to build yourself a new system, I recommend the Ryzen 5 5600G. This one's down to $215 with the $10 off promo code that's available right now. And it has integrated graphics that will far outperform any of the integrated graphics that are currently available on Intel CPUs. Beyond that, it's kind of middling in terms of CPU performance. So if you do have a discrete GPU to work with, I'd recommend going with something more like the 12400. And then beyond that, like I said, there are a few other products linked in the description, just some things I'd recommend, like a really solid 32 gig kit of G-Skill Rip Jaws 5 DDR4 memory, or some storage options, like this really nice deal on a Crucial BX500 two terabyte SATA SSD for only $160.
And again, all of these deals are linked down in the video's description, so check that out if you haven't had a chance to yet. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys. I have a couple really exciting builds coming up for this month, one that I'm gonna put together, one that Kyle's gonna put together. Stay tuned and get subscribed if you'd like to see what the rest of the components are going to be that will be paired with the Z690-E Gaming Wi-Fi ROG Strix motherboard and this ridiculous liquid-cooled RTX 3080 Ti. Thank you guys so much for watching this video though. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out if you enjoyed it and check out my store at paulshardware.net where you can buy shirts and mugs and pint glasses and bottle openers and all kinds of really, really nice stuff. It's super sweet. Links in the description. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.